Hello and welcome back to the breadboarding tutorial series. In the previous video, we built our final circuit connecting our three sensors in parallel into our Arduino board. In this video, we are going to be showing you how to connect a solar panel to your Arduino to power your circuit without having to connect it to a laptop. So before we begin, this is worth noting that this is the final video in the prototyping series. Once you finish this video, you'll be well equipped with creating your very own circuit for your weather station. Secondly, it's worth noting that the solar panel is not essential to the circuit. Although it does mean that you have isolated powering for your circuit, and it means that you can just have it wherever you want it outside without having to have a laptop too nearby, you don't need it for the circuit to work. We will also be connecting an ESP board, which is a different model of an Arduino board, which has some slightly more complicated code, but you'll find all of this in the ESP series. With all of this being said, let's move over to the video. As you can see, if you remember from last video, we have our circuit set up with our three sensors connected to our Arduino. To be able to connect our solar panel, what we need is this little board here. What you would get from this is you have to solder your solar panel into these small pieces on either side of this power supply. You would also connect a small battery in here and what happens is this, these batteries will charge up capacitors which then when you get a supply voltage from your solar panel turns on this transistor and then activates the power to come through these two wires here. What you would do is you would then connect these wires into the red one goes into the VN on the Arduino and the white one would go into the ground. This then means that once it's connected the voltage will come out of this into the board and back out the 5 volt rail and that we have originally placed into our circuit. I have next to me here a solar panel that does not have a board on it because we did not have any spare boards to solder onto. What we're going to be doing though, just as a demonstration, is I'm going to place a solar panel here and then we would put the red wire on this one into VN and we're going to put the, the black wire into this ground on the other side of the board here. This is essentially what you would be creating. Of course, you're not going to plug the solar panel straight in. And if you wanted to measure what voltage your solar panel was giving you, what you would instead do is you would have the pins that are coming from your board, you'd have them go into a small voltage divider in your circuit. Again, you'd probably attach this in parallel. So I'm just going to put the circuit that you would build over here, just away from the thing here. You will measure in essentially the exact same way as you measured your PT1000. And you would just take two resistors that you know the value of and connect them in series. When you have this done, you're going to want to make sure that only one of these resistors is getting power from the solar panel. By connecting the solar panel in parallel to this resistor, it means that you can work out how much voltage you're getting from here if you know these two resistors. We know that the board is supply would be supplying 5 volts, and if you know the ratio of the resistors, you can work out how much extra you need to deduct from the measurement from this resistor which has a solar panel to tell you the difference which will be the voltage you get from the solar panel. This now completes everything that we wanted to cover on the solar panel and also concludes our breadboarding series. Thank you for watching and I hope you found these videos useful. As always, bye for now.